Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Green Raven here. All right, so uh, let's continue our adventures in uh, Eisenhorn, or the Adventures of Eisenhorn. Zenos. So yeah, this is actually, despite what this looks like, this is actually a ship because 40k is nutty like that. Everything has to be a freaking cathedral. Anyways, so yeah, uh, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, in Eisenhower there is no run button. He automatically transitions between walking and running when he deems fit. So, yep. And Nappy Tail, what does this book say? Prenation something? Oh, predictions of the Holy Inquisition. I am very curious to see at the rate what that says. Alright, nappy time for a cranky old Eisenhorn. Even though this is a new game. For the first time in six years, I did not dream about Eichlon. I dreamt of something else. Uh oh. It begins. Like I clones drones, but vacant, like an immense, starless distance. I had no idea who he was. At that point, Eisenhorn. Touchdown! Destination reached. Ready to disembark. R oh. Let's go see the creepy demon. Oh. Now, those of you who are very keen and astute, you may have noticed one very key uh, um, thing, detail. He had an eye on his forehead. Do you know what the eye stands for? The bloody fucking Inquisition. But that'll be for book two. You don't really do much with uh, Cherubel in this game, or in the book, in, in this book even. So, damn bright place. They have eleven months of pitch dark, so they light their habitat to an excessive degree. They don't get many visitors in this season. Most of the ships here are local, transatmospheric. I make three non-locals aside from us. Two trader launches and a private cutter. I'd like to know how that bastard Eichlum got here, and how he was intending to leave again. I'll find out. What about Vibben? 
Do you know what her wishes were? Did she want her remains sent back to Tornish for burial? I don't know, Eisenhorn. She never told me either. Take a look through her effects. See if she left any testament or instructions. Can you do that? I'd like to do that. So yeah, this planet is dark for the most of the year, so they make their cities extremely yellow bright. Alright, uh, what are we supposed to do? Leave the gun cutter for the carpal meeting. When are you meeting Carpal? Amos is waiting for you at the exit. Let's see if Precious is still here. No, I'm not. Chair belt's still here. So yeah, technically, uh, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Except now there's only one of him. Because they used up one of his instances of his visits. But yeah, that's kind of an Easter egg slash glitch. Alright. There is one thing we can do if we can enter here. Ha ha. Um, yeah, let's quickly crawl around for one second. I want to pick up money. I'm greedy. I want to... What the fuck? That was not what I was supposed to have. There's supposed to be a uh, treasure chest here somewhere. I'm not supposed to be here. Just <laughs> whoopsie daisy. Yeah, we're definitely not supposed to be here just yet. Oh well. Either way, it's my goddamn ship. I can do whatever the hell I goddamn please. So, just crawling around the ducts. No oh, biggie. So that was a quick fun little detour. Alright, let's uh, uh, go meet Carpel. Amos had completed his report. Now it was time to face the locals. It's funny because Amos is old now and we're playing as old as Norn. to the game glitch. I think the game glitched. I remember this happening the first time I was playing the game too. Fuck. I'm fairly certain that the game glitched. Or wait, 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 wait. I think we should switch him off on. Uh. No, never mind. The game just glitched. No. It was a short trip through the overbright streets to the custodial hall. It is beautiful. The flowers? From the hydroponic farms on East Dome 7. Signifying? Morning. Same as the sashes. <laughs> what happened last night is a major tragedy for this world. 
Yellow is their holy color. I believe the local religion is a solar belief. The sun as emperor? On the map. Extreme here, for obvious reasons. By the way, uh, usually when a game is based on, you can't see it but I made air quotes, there's usually some things missing. Uh, in the book, there was a, uh, there was a autopsy of Icon's body. And he had a few surprises. Uh, he had like mechanical worms inside him or something like that. So yeah. See, that, that's kind of the thing about games or movies that are based on books. They don't, they don't always include everything, and it's not quite right. And, eh. But yeah, there was before this scene, there was an autopsy scene with Icon's body. High custodian. They are all dead. All 12,142, processional 212 is dead. None survived the trauma. Hubris has my sincere sympathies, High Custodian. Your sympathies? A great part of our ruling elite die in one night, and we have your sympathies to console us. That is all I can offer, High Custodian. Your arrogance astounds me, Offworlder. You bring this monster to our world, battle with him through our most sacred sanctums? Wait. I came here to save you and deny Iclone's plans. But for the efforts of myself and my companions, he might have destroyed more than one of your hibernation tombs. I broke none of your laws. I was careful to preserve your codes in pursuit of my work. What do you mean I brought this monster here? We registered no off-world ship these past 20 days, except yours, Eisenhorn. Did you choose Hubris because it was a quiet place, where you might finish your feud undisturbed in the long dark? Amos? The supports are early Imperial Gothic in style, but... Amos, the report. Read this, Carpo. Read it thoroughly. Or should I read it aloud to all here assembled? Should I explain how I came here at the last minute when I learned Iclone was moving to Hubris? That I learned that only by astropathic decryption of a cipher message sent by Iclone two months ago? A cipher that killed my astropath in his efforts to translate it? Inquisitor, I... And what about this? The evidence that Iclone has been planning a move against your world for almost a year. And this gathered last night, that an unregistered starship moved in and out of your orbit to deliver Iclone three days ago, unnoticed by your planetary overwatch and the custodian guardians? You were wide open. He exploited you. Don't blame me for anything except being too late to stop him. As I said, you have my sincere condolences. And next time you choose to confront an Imperial Inquisitor, you may want to be more respectful. I'm excusing a lot, because I recognize the trauma and loss you have suffered. But my patience isn't limitless, unlike my authority. I expect your full cooperation as I extend my investigation. But the matter is over. I want your consent for me to continue, as well as your full cooperation. Iclone may be dead, but he was just the blade point of a long and still dangerous weapon. What are you talking about? If he speaks again without me knowing who he is, I will throw him out of the window. And I won't open it first. This is Chasener Fischig of the Adeptus Arbites. I wanted him present. Chasener? 
Inquisitor, my question stands. Murdin Iclone was a facilitator. A brilliant, devious man, one of the most dangerous I've ever hunted. He had no true allegiances. He worked to facilitate the grand schemes of others. What he was doing here on Hubris was to advance and develop someone else's plans. I must work back from Iclone, his men, from any clue he left, and dig my way into whatever greater secret darkness was employing him. And for this you want the cooperation of the people of Hubris? The people, the authorities, you, everyone. This is the Emperor's work. Will you shrink from it? No, sir, I will not. Excellent. I grant my authority. Conduct your work thoroughly and quickly. I ask two things in return. And they are? You report all findings to me, and you allow the Chastener to accompany you. Fishig has the authority of the Arbites. Consider him a local guide. And your ears and eyes. I will be grateful for his assistance. Where first? Hello, Fisher. They wanted blood, I realized. They wanted someone to punish for the deaths. Or something to tell to the rest of the population when they woke to this disaster a few months later. I couldn't blame them. Midas, prepare the combat simulator. We have a new crew member. Heels here. The combat simulator is ready. Okay, Chasener Fishig. Let's see what you've got. Except we're not using Fishig. We're using a motherfucking space man. Hey, look! There's Vivian all alive and well. God damn it. Enough then. Yeah, we can go for one more round. Maybe one. Um, let's actually give fishing a chance. Just real quickly. Round two. Begin. Okay, fishing, do your thing. This would not be my weapon of choice, Inquisitor. Perhaps I could change. Try changing your weapons before the next round. You Oops, it is. Use the terminal over there. Except I've already been doing that. Uh, the physics thing really change. I don't know if he's got the Arbides, or Arbites, Arbides, I don't know, it depends on how you say it. Um, I don't know if the combat shotgun's good for you. Very good for you. Here we go. Chambermaid's more fight. Oh, 
money fishing. Not bad, Chasener. That's a mess you've made of my hold. Now... Oh, okay, I guess we're supposed to do three. Okay, never mind. Master, I have scrutinized all of iClone's transmissions. They are all in cipher and it will take some time yet for me to unlock them. But Brother Amos is... The key is in the lag. During your struggle with the recidivist, he was sending and receiving to someone with a twelve and a half minute delay. That's another system. You're sure? There are three worlds between eleven and fifteen minutes lag from Hubris. Thracian, Primaris, Cobalt II, and Gudrun. Cobalt is no more than an Imperial watch station. Nothing there. Thracian is no surprise. That's where we followed him from. But Gudrun? Gudrun's a primary trade world. Old culture, old families. Old poisons. Can we be more certain? I'm sure I can break the cipher, Master. At least for the coded headers, if not the actual text. Given enough time... Lowink, tell Gregor about the hubris transmissions. There were messages sent from hubris to Iclone's ship before he arrived. Not so heavily encrypted. They are rather vague and indirect, but they do discuss something called the Pontius. The Pontius? Hmm. Do you have a location? Why else do you employ us? Thorview, 12011, on the west side of the dome, the high rent quarter, Aristo Turf. You said we were meeting at two. I did, didn't I? Just about to come and find you as it happens. We're going to Thorview. Dun dun dun. Oh, you can just do it from here. Beautiful. Or not. The wealthiest Hubrites kept winter palaces on the west perimeter of the Sun Dome. According to Chasen Fishik, they enjoyed both light and dark, as if that was something indulgent. They looked inwards to the lit dome and had shutters that could be opened to view the dark landscape of the winter desert. It was a spiritual thing, Amos suggested. Well, I guess we can't change it just yet. Uh, as much as I like fishing, we're gonna go for the brutal efficiency of a space marine. So as soon as we get to a checkpoint, I'm sorry fishing, but you got to go. Yeah, old Eisenhower's not supposed to move that fast. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hello, there we go. Yoink. Fishing, I love you, man, but, uh, you're not Brother Gilar. Hello, darling, where are you? Thump, thump, thump. Big Ash, Space Marine. Death Watch for the Dark Angels. Alright. Oh, lasers aren't quite on just yet. Motherfucker, I had to say that, didn't I? Alright.
Oh, it doesn't even call him by name, just a space marine. Wanna cop out? Wait. Are we not supposed to be here? I'm certain we're supposed to be here. This is where we're supposed to go. Get past the laser. This is... Ah, my bad. Oh, mini game. Ta da! Hacking. We need to find a more discreet way in. Perhaps we can find an entrance higher up. If you want discreet, you should not be taking a motherfucking space marine with you. Met kits. We don't quite need one yet because we did not get zapped. Oh, he's good. Big ass space marine. Everything seems to be clear out here. Your scanners must be wrong. And now we come to the stealth portion of the game. Get your ass down. Either your scanner is wrong, or you're drunk. <laughs> Thank you, you don't... What was that? Thank you, God. <laughs> well, we fucked that up. Definitely fucked that up because I forgot how to do a takedown, but that's cool. We don't really need stuff, we can just blunt force our way in. Croats wasn't wrong, she's a beaut. <laughs> Teach us how to do a takedown right now. Board, board, board. Okay, okay, right click to sneak attack. Gotcha. Alright, so this is gonna be another one of those things that's a little different from the uh, um, 
Actually, you know what? Let's let's stop stop here. Uh, we shall stop here, and we shall continue in one short little bit. Bye bye.